What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI here, another HP Compact Pro, this is the 6300 small form factor. Gonna be a processor upgrade, show you how to do that. So first you're gonna do the move the side cover panel. Now what you need is, uh, you will either need a flathead screwdriver, but I'm gonna be using a Torx T15 screwdriver, it works a lot better, but if you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, then you just go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna have to remove the two screws here on each side, two in the bottom and two in the top for the heat sink. Cooler, processor cooler. So first you're gonna do is, uh, you're gonna lift this up right here where the optical drive is, and we're gonna disconnect the cables here with the fence route here. There's a set of cables connected to it. Like this, and fan trial should lift up like that, it comes out. Now you're gonna take a screwdriver, zoom in the camera, you're gonna go ahead and remove the screws on each side, two in here in the bottom, two in the top. Comes right out. Now you're gonna take a clean paper towel and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound after a processor before you remove it so you don't want to get your hands dirty. Just like that. That's good enough. Now you're gonna go ahead and uh, take again the paper towel and wipe the old thermal compound off the heat sink. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the rubbing alcohol. Again, you, you have to go uh, get at least 70% rubbing alcohol. Uh, they sell at any grocery store you can buy, look it in the pharmacy, and I go a little minimum 70%, 50% is kind of low, but you have to go 70%. Any pharmacy or any grocery store, they usually sell this. So you're gonna take a paper towel and you're gonna apply, put a little bit on it, like this. And you're gonna clean off the heat, old thermal count off the heat sink. Okay, good enough. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the old processor. So you're gonna go like this, remove it, lift straight up like that. And and this uh, supports uh, HP Compact 6300, does support Intel Core i7, Intel Core i5. You can upgrade uh, Intel Core i7-3770. And the way you guys are going to be installing, there will be the corners here in the top, one in the right and one in the left. And that's the same way you're going to install it, like this, the way you see it. Now you're going to take the new thermal compound. Uh, the best thermal compound, thermal compound you guys can use is Arctic Silver, Arctic Silver 5 or Arctic MX4 or MX2 they have you can use so what you're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take the right apply in the middle but you can just apply in the middle and install the heat sink it will spread evenly but the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take the this little piece to cut off from the credit card like this and apply it evenly and go around it let's see
So you gotta apply a little more. That's good enough. Install back the heat sink and you have to be, this one you have to be really careful because the way you install it, you see how the fan shroud connects like this? And you have to install it back the same way. It's going to be like this. Because if you install it this way, it's not going to work. You have to be like that because the fan shroud, the little piece right here, it's connected back like that. So make sure you do it the proper way, install it back. It's for the airflow. And check all the screws on the, on the bottom and the top, make sure they're tight, they're not loose. And you're gonna connect the SATA back to the fan trial like this. And we're done. Put the side cover panel back on. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.